Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a nice little six-game slate for college basketball. Overall, I really like this slate. All the games look pretty competitive. The Nevada Air Force game is probably the least competitive of them, but it still has it's still close enough to be looked at. And all the games are somewhere between the 130 and 140 uh, points total, with the exception of the Princeton and Cornell game, which is up over 150. Uh, but overall, all the games should have players that are viable. And uh, I'm going to just give you my best picks for these teams. First, we're going to do with the players that are over $6,100. Uh, I've got a few of those. Um, we're going to start with Enrique Freeman uh, for the uh, Akron. Uh, he's playing against Kent State here. And uh, Freeman has been averaging 30 fantasy points per game this season with a solid 1.2 fantasy points per minute. And he has a high usage rate of 27.7%. He is also averaging uh, 18 and 11 points per game this year. He looks like a great option on the slate. I think he's got really solid potential and uh, one of my top plays on the slate overall. Uh, then we're going to look at Tosan uh, uh, Eve Bomwan. Sorry if I'm butchering your name a lot. He's a forward for Princeton. He's playing against Cornell here. This is the highest scoring game on the slate. Uh, he has been playing about 30 minutes a game with 0.98 fantasy points per minute and a usage of 25%. He is also averaging 13 and 4 rebounds per game, 13 points and 4 rebounds per game. So, uh, overall, a really solid option here. Uh, actually, 5 rebounds per game, not 4 uh, lately. So, I do think he's a great option on the slate. Um, then we're going to look at Xavier uh, Castaneda for Art Akron. Uh, he has been playing for against Kent today. He is averaging 33 minutes per game with a 1.06 fantasy points per minute. He has a usage rate of over 30%, and he is averaging 22 points and 4.4 rebounds per game lately. I think he's in a great spot here, has some good upside, and has uh, very good potential. Um, then we're going to look at Elijah uh, Harkless for UNLV. Uh, he is uh, playing against Fresno State. Um, he has been playing 32 minutes per game with 1.1 fantasy points per minute. He has a usage rate of around 34%, and he's averaging over 17 points and 6 rebounds per game. Uh, overall, he's a solid option today. I think he's got great upside and has nice potential. Um, then we're going to look at uh, Adrian uh, Baldwin Jr. for the BCU against St. Louis. Uh, this is one of the higher scoring games on the slate. He's averaging 34 minutes per game with a .82 fantasy points per minute and a usage rate over 21%. He's also averaging 12 points and 3.7 rebounds, as well as a bunch of assists. Um, then we're going to look at Nazir Williams uh, for the Cornell. Um, so for Cornell against Princeton, this should be a good uh, a good game to get guys from. Um, he is playing about 25 minutes per game, averaging 1.1 fantasy points per minute. He has a pretty good usage rate at 25%, and he's averaging 14 and 4 uh, from for the most part for the recent part of the season. I expect that to continue here as a big upside matchup in this situation. Uh, Keyshawn Gilbert for UNLV also looks really good today against Fresno State. Uh, he's averaging 31 minutes per game with a 0.76 fantasy points per minute, and he has a usage rate over 21%. Um, he is also averaging around 10 points per game and 5 rebounds per game recently. And so I think he's a great option on the slate. Isaiah Hill uh, for Fresno also looks really good against UNLV. He's playing a ridiculous 34 minutes per game with a .7 fantasy points per minute. And his usage rate is over 23%. He's also averaging 11 points and 2 rebounds per game lately, which is really solid for a guy that's only $6,100. Uh, then I've got some value plays here. Obviously, for value, it's a little bit harder, but we have some. We have five good options today to help you uh, get some of those expensive guys in your lineup. And we're going to start with Baker uh, for Fresno, uh, the guard here. His salary is at five thousand dollars. He's averaging thirty-one minutes a game lately, and he's aver and he's uh, got a solid us usage rate over twenty-seven percent. He's averaging about eleven nine. 11 points per game lately, and he's uh, uh, averaging 0.7 fancy points per minute, which is okay for a guard, and that is a budget option that's playing a lot of minutes. Um, he seems like a good option here overall. And then we're going to look at Robert 
uh, sorry, Micah Parrish for San Diego State against Boise. He's at $4,700. He's averaging 20 minutes per game and has an average of 18.6 minutes points per game. Rather, uh, he has a usage rate over 18%. He's got a, he's a good choice if you're looking for a good option at guard today. He's really uh, looks like a good value play, playing a decent amount of minutes, and should be good to go here as a cheap option. Uh, then we're going to look at Ed, uh, Eduardo Andre. Now, I'm going to mention him, but I do want to point out that you do want to make sure that he ends up starting. Again, he started the last few games, uh, but uh, he hasn't played as many minutes the last two because the guy that he's starting for has come back from injury. But he is averaging 20, 20, fancy, uh, 20 sorry, minutes per game. He's also averaging uh, 27.6 points uh, per game during that, stri- that stretch. Uh, he had some ridiculous games, uh, fancy wise, during that situation, that that uh, run, and he's got a nice usage rate of 27.6%. Uh, he's a good budget option if you think he might still continue to start here, and he's got some upside as well. So he has been into foul trouble a couple of times recently as well, which has hurt him some. Um, then we're going to look at Victor Uwakor. Sorry for butchering your name for. Uh, UNLV. He's averaging 21 minutes per game lately, and he's also averaging around 10 fantasy points per game. Um, his usage rate is around 10%, but he's a good budget o- budget option for this situation, especially if you're looking for a four with good rebounding ability. Um, he's averaging around three and a half rebounds a game as of late, and so he's got good upside. Um, and then we're going to look at Jake Forrester as our last option here for St. Louis. He is averaging about 18 minutes per game this year. He's averaging um, 21 fantasy points per game recently. (coughs) Excuse me. And uh, he has some nice upside uh, with a 21% uh, uh, usage rate. Um, He has a good uh, option here with a good rebounding ability. Averaging several rebounds per game lately. And uh, some good amount of actual points as well. So overall, I think it's a really solid slate. Uh, I think uh, the value play is really good here, and we have nice upside. And I look for him. I look for all these players to play well in these situations. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.